Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is a daily hypnosis session just for you. I hope you're well and I hope that you're able to just relax and be calm. And what I'd like to do for you today this is something very different from um, pretty much anything that I've done before. Uh, so I hope that it's useful and I hope that it can give you some peace of mind. It's kind of a technique really more than uh, you know sort of laying back and with your eyes closed and um, you know doing whatever we kind of normally do. I would still suggest that you never listen to me unless you can safely close your eyes just because if you listen to me regularly there is a chance that you just connect yourself with my voice in a sense that you naturally kind of want to close your eyes and the same happens with me with some things you know if I listen to classical music for example because I spent so many years laying down listening to it and maybe not necessarily going to sleep but quite often but just laying down you know relaxing but when I listen to it I want to relax I could never uh, drive a car and listen to classical music for that reason so uh, apart from the fact that I can't drive but that's uh, obviously a different thing um, or fly a plane you see where I'm going with that I can't fly a plane so this technique or this thing is something that I do myself so I'm giving you my own personal technique uh, and this isn't something that I've learned anywhere else this is something that I have created myself which I'm given to you to use and to test um, I'm making no claims at all uh, about anything that I'm about to tell you the only claim that I will make is that it gives me a sense of maybe safety and some peace of mind as well and you're probably thinking now what's JJ going on about what's he talking about Peace of mind, safety. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna show us some kind of new lock, some kind of, that we can attach to our doors? No, no, no locksmith uh, tips here. This is a technique. So at the moment in the UK where I live, um, it's winter. It's well, we're coming to winter. It's it's um, autumn, but there's a lot of people sneezing and coughing and all that stuff going on. And because I don't drive. I travel when I do need to go somewhere which isn't walking distance um, I get on a bus or a train and I've had to travel a couple last couple of days I've been traveling both on a train and a bus and I've noticed there's a lot of coughing and sneezing and stuff going on more coughing at the moment and so when I hear the coughing especially if it's someone just in front of me or just to the side of me obviously uh, germs can be spread from coughing and especially if they're not got their hand over the mouth and so what I do is I use a an imaginative technique a, vis a visualization you may call it uh, there's lots of different versions of this that I use um, some of it is aimed at protecting me others are aimed at healing the other people in my mind imagining it okay so on this session I'm just going to talk about the protecting myself which you can use for yourself and it kind of fits in with what some therapists especially hands-on therapists talk about setting up some kind of protection for themselves against the negativity the negative energy maybe of the other person 
I've heard, I trained in massage uh, many years ago, and they used to talk about pretending that you were, it was like a barrier between you and the person, and, it, you know, so that their negativity couldn't get enter into yours when you were touching their body. Um, I didn't personally like the idea of that, because I don't, the idea of a barrier between me and you, I know we've got the computer system and the internet, but I like to think that uh, my voice and your ears listening can break through that barrier, so there isn't a barrier. What this does though, in a sense, it does cause a barrier, but that's okay because it's a protection and also you don't know the other person, you don't need to have that connection with them, maybe in this instant, okay? So maybe you wouldn't do this with someone that you wanted to have a connection with because it could break that connection. But of course it's only in your mind anyway, maybe. So, uh, I'm going to do this. You can close your eyes because it's, if you, I always close my eyes when I do it. You can do it with your eyes open as well, but it's up to you. As long as you're comfortable and relaxed, with an open mind, an open heart, and allowing yourself to just accept that maybe there are other ways of doing things, other ways of getting the same job done. And maybe there's some things that you don't know. I know there's lots of things that I don't know. And there's always an opportunity to learn something new. And that's kind of, I try to come from that angle uh, for myself. Always testing things out myself if I can. So, it's very, very simple. I could have done this in 30 seconds, but I do like to talk, so here we go. All you need to do is, this is, I'll go through what I do. If I'm on a bus, for example, I'm sitting here, usually with my left hand side towards the glass, because I've got a weird left hip. I got everything wrong with me, I'm not. You must think that I'm kind of all distorted or something. My, my, it's not bad, it's just that it hurts sometimes. Anyway, that's not the point. You hear someone coughing, maybe in front of you or behind you. All I do is imagine that a wall comes down, a glass wall, like a tube that surrounds me. Plenty of rooms, not tight or anything, but it surrounds me and the tube goes all the way up into the sky, all the way up into the clouds where the oxygen, not the clouds, but far enough up where the, the oxygen is pure, clean oxygen, you know, not no cold germs or anything like that. And just allow myself just to breathe in that air. So at the same time, the germs from the person behind me or in front of me and, or wherever they are on the bus or train can't penetrate me. I do this even in the street when I'm walking down the street. Someone sneezes near me straight away like a shield goes up like a plastic shield so I can still see them. I don't hold my arm up like that like I'm holding a shield up because that might look weird. But I imagine that those germs can't get through that shield. Can't penetrate it. And regardless, regardless of what the scientific facts would say about this, uh, the doctors, the scientists, the whoever, the point of this is peace of mind. Give it a try. I'm letting you in on some secrets that I do myself and I rarely get a cold. I'm not saying that's the reason but I don't worry about getting colds. And I don't worry about that person that's sneezing everywhere. Because I used to, but I don't now. Give it a try, let me know what you think. Take care. Thank you. Bye.